doping is actually one of my favorite plyometric exercises. Not only is it great cardio, but it's actually great for building fast twitch muscle fibers that are for your short bursts of movement and power from your legs and calves. My name is Howard and I'm an Olympic badminton player. If you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can keep up to date with all my newest videos. You guys can also head over to Instagram and follow me at shoes on my feet. So let's get into the video. So before we get into it, a lot of you guys might ask, what's a double under? A double under is basically when you spin the rope two rotations for every one jump. Double unders are actually done in a lot of different types of cross-functional training, and it's actually a very typical exercise that you'll see in CrossFit training. So it's really important to have the right setup. One of the things that you really wanna pay attention to is the length of your rope. You don't want the rope to be too long because then it'll be more tiring and much more difficult to time the longer rotations of your spins. The shorter the rope, the faster your rotations are actually going to be. One of the rule of thumbs that I like to use for finding the right length of my rope is that if you actually step on your rope and bring it up on your sides, it should be no longer than a few inches above your hips, just like this. Now, let's get into the technique and talk a little bit about some of the do's and don'ts while you're mastering the double jump. One of the most important things is that you're gonna wanna keep your elbows tight in against your torso as you're doing your spins. You don't wanna outstretch your arms like this while you're spinning, and that's one of the biggest mistakes that I see people do. Your arms are almost kind of straight with just a little bit of bend in your elbows. You don't want them to be 90 degree bent either like this. Your legs are also gonna be kept fairly straight. Obviously, there's gonna be a slight bend in your knees when you're bouncing and jumping, but you don't wanna bring your knees all the way up and you don't wanna bend them either. When it comes to the actual jumping, make sure that you're bouncing on the balls of your feet. You don't wanna be bouncing on your heels or flat-footed at all. Now, when you're actually spinning, you wanna focus on using your wrists and your forearms. You don't wanna use your entire arm or your shoulders to do the actual spins. Now lastly, you really want to keep your body stable. You don't want any excess movement and you don't want your body swaying forward or back or to the sides at all. Now let's talk about the hardest part, which is the timing and the rhythm. I typically like to start with single jumps to build a little bit of momentum. You'll notice as I start going into my doubles, I start jumping a little bit higher and speeding up my rotations a little bit as well. The other thing that's really important is the timing of the hop. You wanna make sure that your timing is consistent and that you're not actually spinning too fast. The actual motion is one strong swing and one follow through swing. In my head, the timing kinda of goes one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So be patient in finding your timing once you guys master the double jump, you can challenge yourself further by adding another rotation and making it a triple jump. One of the exercises that you can even try is try jumping without the rope in your hand and counting the timing in your head. I know that the rhythm of the double jump is not easy, but I'm confident that if you guys practice these techniques, you'll get it down to the point where it becomes muscle memory. One of the great things about jump roping is that you can literally do it anywhere. So I'll actually leave a link below for you guys for the rope that I'm using. Let me know in the comments below on how your jump rope skills are or if you guys have any questions. Make sure you guys like the video, turn on your notifications for the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Singles. Doubles. Triples. <laughs>